This is how Hollywood thinks about you. This is how Hollywood continues to show that they hate you and they want to destroy you. This is exactly what we're going to be taking a look at in this article here, where we have a producer from Hollywood, one of the elites, one of the one of the people that has be, been behind some very, very popular films coming from Hollywood, who is now just completely just attacking a huge majority of the country and just basically just vilifying an entire group of people based on their skin color. So this is what this person has decided to say. Teen mom producer and American Psycho 2 director claims whiteness is a disease. And can you just imagine, I, I, I always want to throw this out there because the double standards are insane. Not that they care about double standards, Hollywood doesn't care about do double standards. Leftists don't care about double standards. They will continue to use double standards however they can in order to push their agenda. But, can you imagine if there was someone from Hollywood who said blackness is a disease, do you know what would happen to that person? That person would be immediately completely cancelled and kicked out of Hollywood forever. But it is totally okay for them to say whiteness is a disease. It is totally okay to allow racism in certain aspects as long as it continues to push the narrative that they need to push. The executive producer on Teen Mom's Girls Night Inn and the director of American Psycho 2 All American Girls, Morgan J. Freeman, recently took to Twitter where he described whiteness as a disease. So this is what he said. Being anti-racist starts by admitting whiteness is a disease. Well, I guess I'm not anti-racist then, and neither are you, Morgan, because uh, I, I'm not sure if you realize this, but whiteness, as much as I hate to call it a race, it is a race, and it is one of those things where if you hate a race, then you are also racist. Doesn't matter what race it is, you are racist. So, if you are judging anybody, if you are, you know, discriminating, discriminating against anybody, if you are vilifying anybody based on their skin color then that is a problem. Now, I don't like even using the term race because I think that we are all humans. We all just have different tones of skin. You know, we all just have different skin colors, but we're all human beings. We're all part of the human race. There isn't really distinction when it comes to that. But, you know, this, these are the types of games that, that, you know, leftist weirdos like to play. He then decided to justify his blatant racism by pr proving his own definition of what whiteness is. Freeman what wrote, Whiteness is a dominant cultural space with enormous political significance, with the purpose to keep others on the margin. Which is just a ridiculous word salad that basically says, um, you know, I, I know what whiteness is, but I'm going to pretend that it's these other things as well. Um, this is all just like critical race theory 101. That's basically what Morgan is talking about here. So Morgan's or Freeman's uh, disgusting and hateful comments aren't a surprise. Before sharing his racist thoughts to Twitter, he declared America needs more of the racist critical race theory. Aha! There it is. I'm sure he is a very, very astute student when it comes to CRT. America needs m way more critical race theory and way less great replacement theory. What? Like, I, I don't even know what he's trying to say there. A little over six months ago, he was claiming whiteness would be bred out of humanity. Why can't Republicans just accept that the whiteness they so very cherish will be bred out of the human race? And this is something that I have, uh, you know, thought about before and talked about before with, with people and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's very possible that we could get to a point in history where whiteness you know is not really prevalent anymore and even in america it's starting to become that way more and more and i don't care the only thing i care about are the values and the morals that people uphold the only thing that i care about is that people understand that freedom is important that liberty should be cherished and that america is a great country those are the things that i am concerned about when it comes to what people believe who are coming into the country who are you know being part of our nation and everything else those are the things that i am wondering about different individuals it goes back to the 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 famous you know um ideology of judging people based on their character and not on their skin color but that is something that Morgan Freeman doesn't seem to understand. And it's not just him. And by the way, it really doesn't have anything to do with skin color at the end of the day. Because they continue to talk about diversity all they want and how much they love diversity and how they want diversity. But they don't really want diversity because they want to completely wipe out white 
people, I guess, and stuff. But they also hate the fact that there are people out there who continue to push for patriotic beliefs and pro-America uh, messages and freedom and everything else. They absolutely hate anyone who is like that. So they aren't really diverse, especially when it comes to diversity in opinions and thoughts and beliefs. They want to completely control 100% what you think, say, or do. That is what they want, and that isn't true diversity. They want you to be ascribed to their image of what they want you to be, and that is that is all they want from you. They want you to not be able to have your own beliefs, opinions, or anything like that. And unfortunately, a lot of this stems from the fact that, that uh, Democrats and leftists have very easily been able to control minority groups up until this point, I would say, because there are a lot of people in minority groups that are starting to wake up and see the nonsense that is going on. But they have, for the majority of the past hundred years, been able to control a lot of these minority groups very easily. And so, therefore, they, they then utilize and use them as a weapon in order to push that they love diversity and you got to be more like this and this and this. And that is exactly what they continue to do. But we are starting to kind of break that cycle a little bit, which is good. So we'll continue to see what happens with all of this. But this is absolutely insane that this that that this is the type of rhetoric that is coming from Hollywood. But this is exactly what they believe. And this is what they are going to continue to push. And it's 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 wrong. It's just wrong across the board. I don't care who you're who you're targeting. I don't care if you're targeting blacks. I don't care if you're target, targeting whites. I don't care. It is all wrong at the end of the day and that's that's just the that's the common sense position on that so let me know what you think about this in the comments below leave a like subscribe all of that good stuff i'd appreciate that a lot and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon